Matzlik's most common technique is to rudely interrupt his opponent while they are responding or explaining. Whenever he rudely interrupts, call him out for it. Insist upon being able to finish your comments before he responds. Matt Slick does this continually in his face-to-face -face debates and in his daily radio show. The second technique that he uses is called shifting the burden of proof. This allows him to escape responsibility for explaining his own terms. To respond to this, point out to Matt Slick that he has not defined his terms, and then when he uses the terms we're about to use, ask the following question. When he uses the term Christian worldview, ask these questions. Is there only one Christian worldview? Which Christian worldview are you referring to? What are the components of the Christian worldview? What are the specific characteristics of the Christian worldview? How does one arrive at the Christian worldview? Is the Christian worldview a completed set of components? Or does the believer's Christian worldview change as they grow in faith? Have you shown any of these things in Scripture? When Matt Slick uses the term logic, raise the following questions. Which system of logic are you using? Isn't your choice of logical systems arbitrary? What is the metalogical structure of the logical system you are using? Have you shown your logical system to be consistent, complete, and rigorous? Do you have a complete list of inferences used in your logic? Are there only three or four universal laws of logic? Are there any that are undiscovered? Have you shown any of these things in scripture? When Matt Slick uses the term conceptual, what is the difference between conceptual and imaginary? What is the connection, the relationship between the concept being conceptualized and the object the concept represents? What is the difference between concept, thought, idea, and imagination? Have you shown any of these things in scripture? To press the idea of conceptual further, here are some more penetrating questions. How does one develop a concept? Is one's conception of a concept identical to another's concept of the same conceptual object? How is that verified or not verified? How does one's cognitive abilities affect their conceptual abilities? What is the relationship of a concept and the language used to describe that concept? When we express a concept using language, does the listener of that language have the same concept evoked? How is that verified or not verified? Remember these general rules. Matt Slick must rely on a series of rhetorical devices and techniques which are designed to keep his opponents on the defensive. This is why Matt Slick interrupts his opponents so often. Number two, his attacks allow him to keep his opponents on the defensive, which often results in his opponents becoming frustrated. Number three, his attacks allow him to escape responsibility for defining his own terms, positions, and logical consequences of his arguments. These attacks allow Matt Slick to continually jump from topic to topic and not allow his opponents to respond. This usually frustrates his opponents, which apparently is what Matt Slick wants. Matt Slick apparently does not want dialogue or debate. He wants to be able to spout off his comments without having to explain his terms, views, arguments, or techniques. These techniques are avoidance mechanisms. They are designed to allow the presuppositional apologist, Matt Slick in this case, to escape critical review of their own terms, positions, and the consequences of their positions. Apparently, Matt Slick believes these techniques and mechanisms 
relieve him of the intellectual and scholarly responsibility, including the burden of proof requirement. To explain his arguments in detail, and keeps him from having to explain anything of his own terms and techniques. These techniques are designed to thwart critical review. These techniques are intellectually dishonest. These techniques lack intellectual integrity. Force Matt Slick to explain his arguments, terms, and positions from the ground up. Force Matt Slick away from his rhetorical devices, and Matt Slick will fail every time.